What's up, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Brew Review. Today, we have the Disco Wolf Double IPA, uh, brewed by Fremont Brewing Company in Seattle. I don't know if... Have I had these guys locally? I don't know. But anyways, uh, I love IPAs and double IPAs and triple IPAs and quadruple IPAs if those exist. I guess they're just imperial triple IPAs. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. So I had this. I don't have a temperature reading of this, but I, I threw this in the freezer. Threw my glass into the refrigerator. So everything should be pretty cold. Hopefully this didn't freeze. So we'll do the pour. Oh no, it's frozen. I don't think this is going to be a good evaluation, but let's just see what we got. <laughs> a lot of ice. Oh my gosh, it's going to be freaking refreshing, but... Ah, oh, shoot, I'm already evaluating. Okay, let's get into this. All right, so aroma, taste, and mouthfeel, and appearance. So immediate, intermediate, and final. Okay, so aroma is first. Okay. I'm really, really bad at this. Ah, shoot. Ooh, it's funky. Oh, what do we got here? Um, it's not fruity. Hmm. It's not rancid. Fatty acid, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm thinking it's... Do that, but that's not a good sign, but... It's kind of got a funkiness to it. It's uh, kind of... Um, or how do I describe it? Kind of sour, I would say. That's not even on this list right now of aroma. Mm, oily maybe okay it is a little rancid but like not not like no maybe i'm tripping out i don't know it's it smelled a little bit funky but um it's definitely um i've encountered something like this before but it wasn't too bad it wasn't it wasn't even bad so we'll, we'll just see uh, i don't really have a intermediate or final it's just it's just that uh, maybe a little resiny and that's all I'm gonna pull from that. So taste and mouth feel. Yeah, there's chunks of ice in here. Maybe this was, maybe this um, got hot when it was shipped. I don't know, if, like in a can, if it, if it gets affected like that. bitter resiny it's the hops that they use i've encountered like kind of funky smelling hops before and it almost smells kind of like not moldy but like kind of alive in a way kind of not <laughs> not rotten like i want to be nice about this but it's not it's kind of got like a like a cheesiness to it <clears throat> so i've encountered hops like that before and like beers like that before like the good kind of like funky but like also the bad kind of funky so i know this isn't the bad kind of funky it's definitely it's definitely okay so bitter <clears throat> definitely bitter i love that bitter bite and smooth pretty much like surprisingly smooth maybe it's the temperature of the beer actually maybe a little salty so bitter, salty, not so much sour, kind of sweet actually. And uh, so the mouth feel, not warming. I don't know how much alcohol this has. Let's check again. <clears throat> oh yeah, independent craft, shout out. Um, Cause beer matters. It's, let's see. Maybe the disco is kind of funky. 
What is the percentage here? Does it not say? Okay, 8%. Whoa, that's, that's high. This should be a little bit warming, but maybe since it's like it came out of the freezer. So not really mouth coating. Mmm. Maybe astringent and metallic. It doesn't have too much body, so it, it kind of just like it just flows. It's it's um, that's kind of a desirable trait personally that it doesn't really linger too long. It just like especially for this style, it just it it happens then it goes away. It doesn't linger. Carbonation's good, although it's kind of cold. Uh, carbonation might be a little bit <clears throat> muted. When you heat up a beer, it, like uh, the carbonation comes out a little bit more. Yeah. So what I got was like astringent, metallic. Hopefully I, I nailed that. Uh, it's not really warming, but uh, it has a lot of alcohol. It's 8%, it says on the can. All right, so moving on to appearance. Let's get this there. No, I can't really see from this angle, but maybe if I can shed some light behind it. No, no, that totally messes things up. Yeah. There, with light, without the light. Yeah. So I would say this to me maybe not to you who's viewing it let's see oh shit I gotta zoom in on this picture I would say this is like a pale gold it's either a pale gold or a slightly deep gold so that's between like four SR SRM and six SRM, so like five. Yeah, it's looking more like a pale gold to me, which I think is around like the color of IPAs, so <clears throat> falls within the, the definition. So that's, that's good, that's good. And who would like this? IPA drinkers, I mean, it's an IPA, it's got that bitterness, it's got like that resiny, like hoppiness to it. And, um, and but it's not like, uh, surprisingly for a double IPA, it's not super duper bitter. So maybe those like people who like just normal IPAs rather than just like a huge punchy West Coast slap in the face, like electric mouth IPA, it's just like kind of almost almost like a, a, a single IPA rather than a double. I don't find it too bitter. Could be the temperature once again. Who would hate this? Everybody who doesn't like IPAs. There seems to be like a, a hard line or like a hard divider. It's like those who love IPAs or those who just hate IPAs and there's nothing in between. But those who would hate it is just like everybody who's just not used to IPAs. Um, it hasn't grown on them yet, but it will grow on you. It's, it, I mean, it happened to me. Um, maybe it'll happen to you. It grew on me. I, my first IPA was, I think, Green Flash, and that messed me up. Um, but eventually, I mean, I didn't throw away my beer. I, I was like at a yard house, and um, it's this restaurant that just has a huge selection of beers uh, here in California, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I finished it, so I guess it just grew on me. Um, my first and my number one impression for a double IPA, it's kind of chill. Um, hmm. It's not the. Uh, it's not the funkiest IPA that I've tried. Um, but I like funky IPAs. Like I like funky doubles, and funky triples. I think my favorite IPA, like a double IPA right now, is the Stone FML. And um, that's definitely something I'm going to review here. And it's just so tasty. It's so good. But this is, this is really good too. I would definitely have a couple pints of this. Um, 
when I'm in the area. It's 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 a good beer. Ooh, I think as the beer warms up, a lot of more of the character comes out. I think I'm drinking this a little too cold. But um, yeah, that's my brew review for today. Thank you for joining me on this uh, short little video. Uh, hopefully you get to try this beer if you're of drinking age. Um, shout out to Fremont Brewing for making this guy. It is the Disco Wolf Double IPA. Sweet. All right, guys, drink responsibly. Thanks for watching.